so um for the one them we they are so on a good morning good morning good morning or good afternoon any side or side on a fan on a self i know that um a lot of people them don't ask matilda i tell we not see you and uh forget me face so i then i place where the weather the weather turned bad by my face so it caused me a lot of breakouts and so trying to treat my face again but it's okay um, my face has always been my struggle <laughs> the rest of my body perfect but my face i get sensitive very very sensitive skin so any small thing no more boom it affects my face the rest of my body you know smooth like butter but my face when i did the you know the weather everything they jam they meet before you notice uh, you know small thing no more it don't affect them but who cares um as you all know i like to be very natural i like for present my natural self so no makeup no masking no gimmick so i say i think say for this why i so i talk say the the, the civil servant the journalists the the artists um and i think i put the politicians at one point listen this this is going to be very brief so first of all my whole premise way i can begin this talk here so it is that i know i'm going to the feminist theory because i think say to some extent and some people will be go be upset with me when i say this but to a greater extent the feminist theory the use and the application of what it is to be a feminist has been grossly misused within the context of Sierra Leone. Grossly misused. We know they use them for the thing them way we suppose for use them for. We know they take advantage of feminism the way we we suppose for take advantage of them. Instead, we they misappropriate them, and sometimes they we they use them in situations them and in context them, we completely uncalled for. I go to the public servant. For the public servant, Lara Taylor Pierce. I remember writing a post where Boku Boku people and they talk say, "I stand with Lara. I stand with Lara. I stand with Lara," and then. People then begin bring um, bring the feminist theory into that of feminism or gender. Gender per se, then bring gender into that. And then I write, say, listen, this has nothing to do about gender. This has nothing to do with, um, you know, in, in, in ethnicity, in creodom. Yes, she is a woman. Yes, um, she is a public servant yes she is a daughter yes she happens to be, belong to the creole ethnic group but devoid of that she is there to do her job so how about we put aside how about we put aside you know the fact that she is creole how about we put aside the fact that she's a woman how about we put ahead and in advance that the fact that she is a professional who happens to be a public servant who is representing um you know a particular institution who has all of the qualifications to be there and therefore it they do in work how about we focus on representation and how about we focus on in work as a person and make we forget about the fact that she is a woman make we forget the the gender narrative within that is she a professional yes is she dispensing the duties of her profession to the letter yes why is she being query for dispensing the duties of her profession to the letter. 
I think if we take that singular argument there and forget all of the fact, the fact that she's Cleo, the fact that she's a woman, I think we would make headway in 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 with discussion. So yes, so when it comes to that, my own singular um um you know mission is to prove that she was she wasn't discriminated against because she's a Creole. She wasn't discriminated against because she's a woman, but that she was muzzled because of her ethics and her professionalism. Period. And then make we begin look at why that happened. What are the circumstances surrounding within the within the environment within Gida um how you might call them within Gida eh, 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 um, 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 <laughs> not even the precedent waiting with the condition waiting at the condition them we enable that for happen and up till now someone is suspended unceremoniously using a very fluke and when i say fluke yes fluke just because the president has the right to do something doesn't mean that the president should do it right now using a very fluke gap within the constitution to justify now you they use a, um, a, a deputy i think it was deputy attorney general or whatever or minister of justice or whatever deputy minister of justice for enact something we're not there within the preview we're not there within the parameters of in work so first of all that person they first of all we write the letter and we we put the justification together first of all he, he, he misuse in office he misuse in office because the tenant of in office, the duties them according to in office, not fall under, not to in jurisdiction than they first of all, for write letter to the attorney general and suspend the attorney general using a fictitious, and I say fictitious because what was used to justify, if we go according to the law, is fluke. It's look, there are loopholes, serious loopholes, serious fragments in the use of that lordy. So how about we focus on those arguments? How about we focus on the application of the law as it is written? And how about we call for the revamping of the constitution as we know it? Because within the Constitution, the Constitution have, have provided fictitious loopholes. Where when if we come to the table and you get serious lawyers, then we get the wits about them. They argue them points they are so. We go realize say na a moot point. We go realize say there are no grounds and no basis to these things. So now we see a situation where an attorney general is being questioned for the veracity, the rudimentary of her work, the 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 you know the the, the purity of her work, and we see, you know, <laughs> we 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 and I'm going to use alleged. I'm going to use alleged because I've not seen. I have not read the full, full, authentic Auditor General report because what was published by the government, we have all come to know and we can all agree that. We can all agree, say, uh, there, were, there was a lot of editing. There was a lot of sanitization done to what was published. So now, if there was a lot of sanitization done to what was published... 
according to the African African Express, fifty percent sanitization. What 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 is was sanitized fifty percent. So fifty percent of the evidences have been removed from the published official published version by the government of the twenty twenty Auditor General report. So if 50% was sanitized, now can you imagine even out of that 50%, they would then say, make Babu Koba shame, make we pull an ado. And the nation is array. People are screaming, people are lost, people are beside themselves. People are beside themselves. Yeah? Now just imagine... If the full, the full, you know, enchilada, if the full enchilada is published, what thing will happen? If the full enchilada is published, this is just half of the pie that was given to the public. Now, if the full pie was presented to the public, what would have been the reaction? And if the full pie is made known to the public and you still sit there as a human being and say, the government don't try, the government did do well, trust the process. The thing is that I don't know if I for call you Sierra Union, I don't know if I for call you a patriot, I don't know if I for call you a Judas, or I don't know if I for call you a traitor. But I won't call. You decide where you fall. You decide where you fall. And so to that point, let me tie it in to the other point. And with all of this revelation, with half of the pie presented, you have an ACC boss where they say the president, according to the Constitution, is not impeachable until after office. Okay, let's play the devil's advocate. Let us say that is the case. And it is written in the Constitution and say that, you know, there is no leeway for try a sitting president or for impeach a sitting president or for investigate a sitting president. I think at this point, what really you should do for public good and for service to public, publish the presidential asset. Publish the presidential asset from before it take on office, and as far as I know, those assets then for present unto you every year whilst it in an office, and do a final presentation after it left office. So publish the presidential asset. It's been in power now for three years, going on four years, I believe. March will be four years. Publish the presidential asset. By publishing the presidential asset, then at least you give the public a data, a consistent data to work with. Because if now you no more know what it can inside with, and now you no more know what it is left with, who is the holder of the truth? Who is the holder of the truth? And if una consistency consistently the denying say waiting the African Express publish na lie na na fictitious makeup na you know whatever then the best thing for you to do now, for make these spendings them public, like what have been they do before, the president is traveling to D D D D D. This is D D D D D. He will be accompanied by D D D D D. You know, for the first 
few months in office. When the, the, the temperature begin get hot, when the people then begin complain, say, hey, this travel, travel don't pass my code. We not, we not say we not get money. We not say we come and meet the coffers empty. So if the coffers empty, then it means that the country not get money. So Usai Una they pull all the money also for this boku 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 travel. And immediately after that, there was a blackout, complete blackout as to public disclosure. You know, just they hear no more, somebody they tweet the president and his wife or the president will be going to. You know, see what I mean? So it don't leave a lot of distrust. It has left a lot of distrust amongst the populace. Both home and abroad. Both home and abroad. They don't left a lot of distress. But now to say that you can suspend an attorney general and the deputy, but you cannot make public for the satisfaction of the people who've put them in office to govern the financial, you know, movement of the presidency begs a lot of questions. It they make people then think boku, it they make people then, then talk boku, it they make people then say boku. And if you are a president who say you they listen, you they are for your people, it's not business as usual. But then you turn around and say, because you don't bring small mumunyere can at the country, therefore you will continue for fly. You're not listening to the cries of the people. You're not beckoning to the calls of the people. then who are you there to rule? Are you there to rule for you and your associates? Or are you truly the president of the nation of Sierra Leone, the people of Sierra Leone? As the year comes to an end, I know they are so for critique today. The time will come when I will, I will be back and I will start doing my thorough in-depth analysis today i just did no more for dropped some nuggets as in as the year comes to an end as we they round up i employ your good grace to take some time to do retrospective thinking and introspective thinking so for think inside and then look back for think again retrospective and introspective thinking that's all I'm trying to do here. And so, now we have a situation where political allegiance and, um, you know, closeness, proximity of power is being used to manipulate the outcome of certain things. Ayeri say the artist has been released. Did I think that the artist would have been released before Christmas? Absolutely not. Because you see, when you want broke somebody, there is a way you go about it. When the artist say, why no more always na me, all tem na me, all tem na me, if they do something to me mental. What do you think? It means that they've done it in such a way that they are getting close to breaking. Now, I don't know this man. I don't know how break, easily breakable he is. From everything I've heard, he's a tough cookie. He's a tough one to break. He's a hard nut to break. But even the toughest of toughest, even the hardest of hardest, there is one single thing that can unravel you, that can dismount you completely.
So here I say to the journalist, was it so important with everything that is going on in Sierra Leone, with the hunger, with the, 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 the divulging of the African Express, with the, the 2020 Auditor General's report, with the alleged political implication to man, um, to, to murder, With the alleged implication, political implication to murder. With the the twenty one year old girl who just went to allegedly the Bondo Society FGM and died. With the fifteen girls or more or so in Kono who were being initiated into the Bondo Society. To the journalists, I say. Isn't there more important things to discuss, to bring to the full? To the police, I say, aren't there more important things to investigate, to put a stop to, to interrupt? Aren't there more important things? Aren't there more important things to do? We not get more important things than as a journalist in the profession of reporting, of exposing, of analyzing, of synthesizing, of educating. Wasn't there something more important going on in Sierra Leone to have reported than the alleged what bench warrants or warrants of the artist and to you so-called female trumpers trumpeteers or female or activists or activism or you know gender activist trumpeteers <laughs> didn't you have more important things to do with your life and your activism did you not are there not important things to talk about? The progression, the inclusion, the representation of women within our societies than to talk about the Nkosi Mama. Uda Mama de Wede no Don Gos. Miwe Sidon Ayasu. Because I have taken upon myself to sit and expunge and deliberate and discuss and analyze things affecting the average Sierra Leonean and our environment. You think say they're not can lick me, Mama Wawanten? Have you ever seen me come out to react? Because it comes with its territory. There are more important things to focus on than fictitiousness. There are more important things to focus on. So to all these female activists, to all these female trumpeteers, una we don't write letter, una we no go agree. If you say you they left them, we no go left them, we no they agree. Why wasn't the reaction the same when the alleged so-called son of the journalist rain profanity on the alleged so-called victimizer? Because I don't watch you, I don't see them when I letter them. I don't see them when I tweet them. I don't see them when I press release them. I don't see them all. I don't see them. I be not to mama born the other person himself. If we are speaking for the goose, why make we not go speak for the ganders? Why make we are so quick because of our political allegiance, because of our power associations? Why make we are so quick for to defend the all and we forget about the either? Why? If you were indeed 
going to take sides on something that was for all intents and purposes. This was a personal thing between two people. They have known each other, allegedly. They have. And please don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about the alleged exchange of fluidization here. If ever there was an exchange of fluidization between these two individuals, they are adults then who are entitled to their own life and who can fluidize and exchange with whomever they please, they so please. So that is not my purpose here. Not to me business and not to nobody in business, period. Not to me business and not to nobody in business, period. But what is our business and what is my business here is that the hypocrisy. So all of a sudden an alleged adopted son comes, rain serious profanities, and then that is the time that the journalists remember they were in the face, the presence of God, and they were fasting and seeking the presence of God and the face of God. And in that moment... Decided to let bygones be bygones. How convenient. How convenient. Did the seeking of the presence of God happen before the, pre the, the insult was in? Or did the seeking of the presence of God happen during? Or did the seeking of the presence of God happen after? Because no matter where the ladder falls, no matter where the, 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 the dice fall in those three scenarios, because you were preparing yourself to go in the presence of God, you should have forgiven. And if you were in the presence of God at that moment, you ought to have forgiven. And if you were going into the presence of God, you ought to have forgiven before. So while in the presence of God, a certain individual who is alleged to be in close proximity to your bosom, rain profanity over someone, and all of a sudden, there is a forgiveness. Make with a check with self and check how we they behave. Make with a check with self and check how we they behave. And make with a check with self and check in the instances, our reaction. And to the vuvuzela, the trumpeteers, the, the, you know, the fist pumpers, and those who, who, who know the law and know the tenets of the law, but yet sometimes turn a blind eye to its application because of association, sympathetic associations and affiliations. Let us be careful. You know yourself. I know they are for call name. I know they are for, but you all know yourselves. Do not use your association or your proximity to power. Leverage it as an advantage to others. Don't do it. To the journalist, now that single action of yours and allowing your trumpeteers and vuvuzelas to carry on the singular action of theirs has exposed you to the world. Then one day we not be know your business. Whether na true now, whether na fabrication now, whether na the in between now. They all don't see them inside your business. They all don't turn jury. They all don't turn spectator. They all don't turn judge. They all don't turn lawyer. Pan your business. Things that people didn't know about your life. Things that people would have never known about your life is now being brought to the public, whether true or not. So you see, when you're a public figure, you ought to be very careful how you react to certain things. 
You get to be very, very careful how you they react to certain things. A singular reaction, somebody don't go blast for you. Allegedly, you, you and this person are close. Now, cascading effect of that reaction led to the imprisonment of that person. As retaliation, because in self, not a broko kununa waf ege ona. Or just like you get people, then we let you. In self, get people, then we let them. All of your business has been unleashed to the world. All of your business. Now, do I believe the judge when the judge say the 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 warrant of arrest had nothing to do with the so-called incident and profanity ring? No, the police don't misfire so many times in their execution. They don't misfire so many times in their interpretation, and then when they come for walk back, it's too late. At your press conference, you were very clear that when somebody used certain words, it didn't sound a constitution, say, when somebody used certain words then, or used certain languages then, the person will be called to books. But I know see I'm whether minister of not. Me not, me not, me not can pay attention too much in the details. So please forgive me if I misrepresent wherever. That minister of not where they rain mommy, mommy this, mommy that, some people then. I don't see that they happen. I never saw such action took place. On a current ambassador of music, I listened to something too. I, I couldn't finish it because I could not, for the life of me, believe, say, na man they sang best soap and people then, mama, auntie, sister, brother, picking them. So, on a current ambassador of entertainment bar or music, Cao De Nero, for una we don't listen to the full version of in audio, say it arranged cost and somebody we arranged cost panam. The person where it arranged cost panam is that person a public figure? Is that person representing the flag of Sierra Leone internationally. Is that person carrying a diplomatic passport under the hospices of Sierra Leone? As soon as they go, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations for winning Africa, da, 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 da. But these are the issue. If someone like that, for in status and caliber, go rain such mami course on someone that he shouldn't consider to his status and level. Then una excuse him completely. Una set una mot link pe. Like nothing no happen. Like goes pass and there was yin yin. Una de 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 congratulate him. Una no reproach and reprimand him and say, listen man. We no setting you know, at not a bone, but listen man. Listen, caution, caution, man. You, that the green, white, for right now, that the green, white, and blue, you the represent, man. Listen, man. When you go wherever, na the world, man. Na, 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 na diplomatic passport, na he, na he, they take, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, you know, as a representation of Sierra Leone. So man, then kind thing and then for the common you must for the go internationally. What if this thing is interpreted to the international world or to some other countries? The man, this thing look bad, man. We understand say art not a bone, but when you are in certain position, you need for land for tie you at. So you all are kumbaya in this guy, and I'm sitting here saying to myself, this is the distortion. This is the distortion. This is the distortion. This is the distortion. These are the inconsistencies that have landed our country where it is. Not that I'm not happy for his achievement. But at the same time, he ought to be reprimanded for his behavior. That is unacceptable on every fold. On every fold, it's unacceptable. On every fold, it's unacceptable. Make we not begin, make we not beat two things together. 
You cannot call yourself the ambassador, the head ambassador representing the entertainment music industry in Sierra Leone. And then you bring yourself to such level. You bring yourself to the to the to the to, to the gutter, the underbelly. And then on Asidon they applaud that yes, so oh, congratulations, bravo, yes, you did it, you did that. Yes, he did it. But at the same time, have you taken time to admonish him about his wrong? Have you taken time to admonish him about his wrong? That is not how you build a nation. That's not how you build a society. Who are the old models? And who are they modeling for? If somebody of the in stature right now, of in caliber right now, it can be allowed for go scot free for rain mami cosp and somebody in mama sister and see Pekin without reproach. Who are the role medals? And who are they modeling for? So when the society that disintegrates. Please do not be always pointing fingers at the politician. Let some of it come back to us because we are the encouragers. We are the vuvuzelas and the applauders of bad behavior. Let some of it come back to us. So as are the admonish each and every person, cohort, we fall within this address where they give for do a retrospective and introspective let us all do it together. When the first lady rain insult and said and go chap chap man then waiting and call, was that not was that not constituting um you know language of intolerance and turbulence in the nation? When Abu Abu opened him out, when this artist, and you know, you can go on a name, a name, a name, a name, on a deputy minister of internal, na affairs, boy, internal defense, on a calling him. How many times has he not been belligerent to people? How many times has he not used threatening remarks live in front of people? So is the police only... The police only they come into effect. The only the police only they become effective and push into gear and push into action when there are no political allegiance involved. Is it just a police for a particular party or is it a police for the nation? The police have to make that clear. That way the people then can self-organize within the community for protect themselves. Because when you make it clear and you make your point known and you make your stand known, then that way they at least you give people the opportunity. It is clear. The rules of engagement are clear. Then you can give people them the opportunity for self-organize and for self-protect. So you guys see what I'm talking about. A 21 year old died FGM in Sierra Leone. Maybe about a week ago now, a few days ago. 15 to 20 girls, Kono, initiation, underage girls. What has the police done about it? What has the police done about it? What has the state institution done about it? Before that, now somebody way every day, every day, every day, mami kos na leko i de creep krawo. Na leko i de creep krawo. Because people rain mami cuss and insult every day on social media, left, right, and center. In fact, creep crawo self it's kanga because you get for you use strength for creep the crawo. Now like when you go na pump, you go up in pump for the ink water, and that is what agitated you people. 
to the journalist. It's been what? A whole year of African Express publication. You go invite people of the state concern for can interview them. But who say you don't invite the African Express or interview the African Express on the alleged reporting or on the reporting that they are making? Even when they wrote you a letter to say we would like to come here our side of this, our investigation. Have you acknowledged it? To the journalist, have you acknowledged it? You haven't. There are more pertinent and pressing things in the world of journalism that ought to be taken care of. Just like where the Standard uh, Times Bar newspaper go publish that fictitious report about, um, you know, Dr. Dennis Bright and, and you know, Femi your school apologizing, going to state house and apologizing. I hope so, and all don't see that recording day where Madam Femi called your school confronts the journalist and say, in whose name and when? Where did you get your reporting from? Because I've never been to state house and neither have I ever apologized to anyone. Instead of practicing fufu journalism, how about you guys go back to basic? Go back to basic and go back to the ethics of your profession and dispense the ethics of your profession. Why are you all bent on practicing fufu journalism? Starch. In fact, fufu gets more power. Starch journalism. Starch. Because starch, now they mix on water, they dilute them. They dilute them, they add more water, add more water, tea, and then you hang them. Crack. Why are you all bent in some way or the other? You all are contributing factors to the disintegration of the state, whether you like it or not. You are all contributing factors to the disintegration of the state in one way or the other, either by your actions or inactions. Either by your actions or inactions, you have all contributed, including me, Sef Sef Nayasu. In as much as I have not lived in Sierra Leone, for God knows I only go to visit whatever, I am pretty sure there are things that I have done that have contributed to the disintegration of the state. Either through my actions or my inactions. And every single Sierra Leonean, no matter your state of perfection or your assumed state of perfection or imperfection, we have all in some way, form, shape or the other contributed to the disintegration of the nation we call Sierra Leone. We have. Rome wasn't built in a day. We all know that. We all know, say, it did take a lot of time for arrive. But after 60 years, man, after 60 years, what tangibles do we actually have to show for it? Our port is being leased out. Our airport is being leased out. Our pots, our point of entry, waiting to make a nation secure, waiting to make a nation a sovereign nation, waiting to make a nation stand on its two feet. The thing we really, the call the nation a nation, the borders, the ports, the marines, the, you know, they've been leased out, they've been given to foreign nationals. We point of entries them. 
Where that day now you no know, country enough for joke with. It like if you pull, you pull, you pull like chuchu salata, you know they joke with them one day. day. Ours is been list out. I remember some time ago, I don't remember, I don't think it was this year, it must have been last year, where Idris Elba came, there was so much vuvuzela in about it. And I said to people, listen, I sat in the same room with Idris Elba in 2011. In the same room with Idris Elba in 2011. And at the time, it was given some fictitious award. And before he was given that award, I turned around, I said to him, man, have you ever been to Sierra Leone? He's like, no, I'm not going, I've never been to Sierra Leone, but I'm planning on going. I'm like, what has been your contribution? It is possible that you've never been to the country, but what has been your contribution to that country thus far? And he said, oh, I'm looking at the possibilities, I'm looking into football at the time that's what he had said i'm looking into football and some other things and i turned around then it was ambassador um stevens i turned around to ambassador stevens and i said to ambassador stevens so why are you giving him an award i'm like you just giving him an award because it's his dna is linked to sierra leone I'm like, why are you giving him an award? And that is the same question again we are posed again when they can make an ambassador of whatever for Sierra Leone. I said to myself again, I remember I do that live day, why is he being given an award? Where the man self self, in self self, if you see the talk with I go tell you, say, listen, me self self, not senior, the guy, man. Forget all this Hollywood hype and this. Oh. We are not drag with it. Drag. We are not senior drag man them. We are not senior hustlers them. Forget all of this Hollywood hype and magazine and this that. We can to it to the bottom, bottom, bottom. Forget about the survival phone coming together and that, 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 and this and that and that. Bottom line is men's hustlings. Men's are hustling. Spirit. All the packaging. All the packaging. So now you've made all this vuvuzela. You've made all this puhaha. What dividend has it brought to Sierra Leone as a nation? What dividend? What dividend? Whose benefits? Whose benefits? Una go able put una and pan and say na in this. This way we do so na this benefit ya so it bring come for we. Very soon, flying to Sierra Leone is going to cost. Landing is going to cost because guess what? In the Turkish then get for pull the money. Then get for pull the money, we put them, we point of entries, then we land in points, them are being listed and I'm being, you know, without any proper vetting. Without any proper vetting. Without following in as much as we learn or perfect, but whatever we have on books has not been followed. And we are sitting there saying, Land that we love, Mama Salom. If we are not careful, there will come a time when there will be no land to love. If we all not come and tie we Oja sober one and begin act with consciousness, begin act with consciousness and devotion to our nation. Land that we love, get for evaporate. There will be no land that we love. It is land that I am. Naingo left. Land that we love would have eviscerated 
and land that I am. They go at this one now in Canada. Land that I am, I ain't get for left. So again, I'm not here to be loud. I'm not here to critique. I'm just here, like I say, put some advice then. Make we think. Make we think. Make we think. Let us be strategic in our approach. And I am sorry to the feminist movement in Sierra Leone, to the gender vuvuzela and trompeteers. Do it right. Do it right. The capacity is there. The knowledge is there. Like, listen, I have mentors in Sierra Leone that are strong feminists. And when they come on, when they talk, I know, yes, these are they. But I also know that there are people who do not quite understand the debate, who do not quite understand the application. That any small thing no more, then don't jump. Any small thing, then don't jump. Any small thing, then don't jump. Hereby, co-opting. Co-opting. Yes, I use the word co-opting. Hereby, co-opting the veracity and the solidness of that theory day. So as we go into 2022, 2022 is going to be a bumpy ride, a very serious bumpy ride, a very, very, very serious bumpy ride. As we go into 2022, let us have our wits about us. Like I always say, me, I walk on the shoulders of giants, very strong women, very, very strong women. My late grandmother was one. Both of my late grandmothers, I should say. You know. Mina. Mina. And then Matilda. Very strong women. But let us not walk in complacency. Let us work in knowledge and purpose. If we don't understand something, make we not jump pants up because we suffered inside. Ask those who know to articulate it in the manner that it will have impact. Never be shy for say I don't know. I they hear this thing or they talk about a bomb. Me inside your bobo, but I don't understand them for what he mean. And allow those who can articulate it for what it is. And to make the impact that it is that is needed. To launch forth and do so. So please I'm begging to the feminist trumpeteers. To the gender trumpeteers. Not to alter in agenda. Think representation. Representation does not always boil down to the sex, the gender of the person. It does not always boil down to that. Representation can be the disabled. Representation can be a youth. Representation can be a woman. Representation can be a man. There are different forms of representation. And there is a time and place when you bring in the gender debate. But not to all to no more as it happens. So, brrr, when I don't grab hey, now because now woman there. It gets stale for some of us. It gets really stale and annoying. Because when we try for really, really hammer this thing the way we're supposed to hammer, and then you get those who have been distracted by words and the grandiosity of words. And the colorfulness of its display it irritates.
it irritates. So listen, I don't get a lot, a lot, a lot of messages then. Matilda, you've been silenced. Matilda, why you know they do you show Matilda this, Matilda that. 99% of them are not respond to. I am sorry, but that's just who I am. I can be a very, very, very unrealistically private person. Shockingly so, I know, because when you see me, they talk, you go feel sad, but I can be super, super private. One thing I can assure you guys is that I will be back. I will be back doing my show. And please, let there be no rumor. Me and VOS will not get any, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I know like false rumors then. And I will be the first to squash a false rumor. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, absolutely nothing. We, we, we talk, we speak, we, we brothers and sisters, we play, we laugh. You know, as soon as yeah, yeah, they call the different shows them for give me contribution one one ten. But when I'm much more settled, I will be back and, and, you know, continue. Because the year ahead of us is going to be a tough year. Mentally, physically, you get to prepare your mind, you get to prepare your brain. Because anything you say... There's going to be consequence. Anything. And, 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 and this is the year where a lot of tact, a lot of strategy, a lot of tact, um, a lot of discernment, a lot of thinking needs to take place to forge ahead. So just allow me the time, allow me the time, allow me the time, allow me the time to come and present in the most authentic and purest of manner, in the most authentic and purest of manner. Allow me the time. It won't be long. I know it's been four months or more. <laughs> <laughs> Four or five months, I don't even remember. But it won't be long. Just allow me the time. Sometimes the brain needs for rest. Sometimes you need to take care of your mental, you know, space, surrounding. Doesn't mean that I, I haven't been active. I've just not been active in the public. But in the background, I've been very, very active. I've not stopped. I've not stopped. I've been very active in the background that I can assure you all. I can assure you all, you know, so as we they close the year, I just want to admonish each and every single one of us. There are 52 weeks in the year. For all of the 52 weeks, if una minus the four months, then we are not there on social media presenting. Every single week, I've come to you guys. Every single week, I've deliberated on things. Every single week, I've expunged, I've analyzed, I've talked. Go back to those shows. Listen to them. Pick some nuggets. Pick something out of it. Let, let, let's talk. And yes, compliment of the season to everyone and, 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 and thank you all. Because, see, 2022, we cannot sweep anything under the carpet. 2022, we cannot sweep anything under the carpet. 2022, shame no get for day. 2022 has to be kojuma kojuma butuma watch. Kojuma, kojuman, butuman, watch. 2022, there can be no prisoners. 2022, when you talk for the goose, you get for talk for the ganders. 2022, there can be no leniency. 2022, there can be no bro. Una forget, make we relax. 
In 2022, certain truths has to be told and be told exactly for what they are. They have to. Certain truths need to be told and be told exactly for what they are. 2022, we get for left the hypocrisy behind. 2022, we have to call things by their name. We have to call things by their name. 2022, we get for call each other out. We have to call each other out, man. If na me, Matilda, call me out. If na you, are they call you out. Without malice. Without malice. 2022, all man get for Tima Pusai, Tima make and clear. <laughs> Thanks, Anita Davis. 2022, all man get for Timap, Usai, Itimap, and make and clear. Are you for the green, white, and blue? Or are you for the red? Are you for the blue? Are you for the pink? Are you for the orange? Or are you for the totobe? 2022, you get for, we get for the side if we are going to do the square peg in round holes. We have to as a nation. We have to. 2022, we have to decide the legacy we leave for the generation coming. We have to. 2022, we have to make it clear. If Sierra Leone continues to be an independent country, if it continues to be a dictatorial country, if it continues to be a sovereign nation, or if it should go back into conservatorship, we have to make it clear, man. We have to make it clear. We have to make it clear. 2022, to the artist, I say, listen, man, take care of your mental health. You've gone through a lot. You've been through a lot. Don't allow irritations and provocation to get under your skin. It's been clear. It's been found out waiting wait, they irritate you and waiting they make you react. They've gotten to you. Whether you agree or you not agree, they've gotten to you. So you have to take a husa moment, my dear. Take a husa moment and take care of your mental health. And get back to what you do best, which is your music. To the politicians, answer the call of duty. To the alleged killer or accomplices in killing, bring yourself forward and say, let justice be done. To the police, State where you are and who you're protecting. To the journalists, make it clear where you belong and what you are there for. To the people, decide what country, or if you want to have a country, decide and make it clear. Decide and make it clear. But let's stop fooling each other. Let's, not, let's stop act, acting as morons. Because we are all acting as morons right now. Let's stop, let's, let's stop the fakery. Let's stop the fakery. Let's stop the lies. Let's stop the manipulation. Let's stop the power power grabbing let's stop the opportunistic displays let's stop the i know and so therefore i will exert
Like I wanna see me face no get one makeup so now they see all me breakouts the why I don't explain to na weather condition and what not. Then when I watch me when I see how my face is fine, my body, the rest of my body fine like butter. You go one born girl picking, we get this kind of body here. Yeah, so let us be as pure as our present to now with all of the dots, the blemishes, the marks. Let us be that pure. The good let us present. The not so good let us present. The bad let us present. Let us present it all. And let us confront them all head on. Head on. When I see me and when you see me and you see the rest of my body, one color, nothing, no change. You see me face. You see why they struggle with me. Me pimples, me breakout, weather condition. This is my authentic me, and I am, I, I, and I embrace them one hundred percent. I don't present anything other than myself. I present my authentic me. How me, mama and papa born me. That's it. No washing one one. So let us stop the washing one one. In our dispensation, in our articulation, in our doing. Make we stop the washing one one. Let us stop the bleaching and let us present our authentic self. Come 2022. For Sierra Leone. For the country that we always fly in the flag and saying we love. For the Mama Salon that we always preach about and we always talk about. Let us defend it fiercely. Let us defend it fiercely. Let us stand in our truth and be our truth. Not allow patronage, not allow affiliation and association for blind your view. Please, 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 please. Let us do it for posterity. Let posterity, let us stand at the right side of posterity, please. I beg you all. I beg you all. If now I tell again for drink, on a drink. Um. If now dance, on again for dance, on a dance, the dance. If now cola, on again for cham, on a cham. Um. If now tea, on get for drink, like me, na yaso, on a drink. Um. But by the grace of the Almighty God, when 1st of January 2022 clocks, we all see it in good life, good health, prosperity. We pray for the strength of God, for continue for give with a passion. Jacinda, you're welcome to share, my dear. Pray for God, forgive with a passion, forgive with the zeal, forgive with the intellect, the discernment. To think ahead, not just for today, not just for the moment, not just for this minute, not just for the who is now, but for the who is to come, and who shall come, and who will become. Let those truth be our guiding light. Come 2022. Let us brace ourselves. Because the turbulence is going to be rough. The road is going to be bumpy. It's going to be grindy. But if we stand firm, together in unison, with one voice, we can speak our truth. I thank you all for always being there for me. Thank you all for always listening to me. I thank you all for always been gracious to me and for those of you who are not gracious that is okay it's okay i don't expect everybody for agree with me i expect for therefore to be criticism to criticize i don't expect a, a total agreement no that will be fully that will be fully that's what leads nations into blindness if everybody go a no more then just they follow, then just they follow, then not say, e, why make na A, why not to B? So, all of you all, fans, critics, family, friends,
for those who pray for me, and I do get the messages, Matilda, we are praying for you. For those who pray for me, I thank you because that's the greatest gift you can give me, praying for me. I thank you all, sincerely do. I pray that God will give you all the grace and fortitude for see each other next year. And as we see each other next year, I pray that we are ready in all sincerity, honesty, and truth to stand in our truth, to speak our truth, to forge ahead in one voice, get what we need for our country and for the country to be what it should be and what not what it is perceived to be. I tell you now, thank you. Merry Christmas of the seasons. We are still in the season and I wish you now a prosperous and blessed 2022. I'm out.